and this pops out at this moment i don't really know what's gonna happen next how i'm gonna keep going with centauri but let's see what happens <laughs> Welcome back to Centauri and as you have seen in my intro I had some serious issues in this episode that made me change the whole uh, script of what was supposed to be the story over here but I was able to bounce back and get my city back on track I almost had to move on to another project in what was supposed to be my most ambitious and most beautiful project i i had to make a big effort to have it back so this episode is going to have a few stories but the main story is going to be how i got to this problem and how i had to solve it so keep watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel we are trying to do something very interesting and something fun for you so please award us with the subscribe and if you end up liking the episode don't forget to like it or if you don't like it you can hit the dislike button so let's go to the episode The first thing that we were doing in here before moving on to a new area was repurposing some of the areas of this first capital that we built in the previous episode. And one thing that I wanted to do, I have a very wide idea of what, what I want here, is to make this like a governmental area where we have all these governmental buildings and stuff and the first thing that i did was to move the operation office to like the center part of this area over here i don't know if is this going to stay there but by now it's working so so fine and then i started to to repurpose the entrance of the city so we can have this central road that will diverge into or split into two separate roads that will head on to the first capital and the first thing that we're gonna see is the oppression office this is the only building that we have unlocked yet of these governmental buildings since you can remember that we are playing with milestones and unlocking stuff and we're gonna use this by now maybe later we can make some changes when we get more buildings that we can plop in the in the city or in this area of the city but by now this is working very fine and as you can see we made these streets to be more customized with the blank roads that are very very useful for this in here and the other thing that we did was that we built a a big labyrinth for the for the back area of the oppression office since we end up having a lot of space and I wanted that this look like the center uh, governmental building like the 
like what you can see in the White House or in here in Dominican Republic, the the National Palace or something like that. That that was the the main focus in here. Maybe later we when we unlock other buildings, we can maybe change the operation office to another one that looks a little bit better. But by now this fits like the one. This is like the one that it is going to be working in here. So we're going to be sticking to that and we're going to move on to one other project. Now for this build in here, I was aiming for something that you could feel to be like a poor and dangerous neighborhood that you could find in like a Caribbean country or Latin American country. I was using at the first time a district style that you could find in the Steam Workshop called the Bad Side of Town and I found out that it's not the style that I wanted to feature in here, but I had some assets that are made to be like some Colombian uh, bad houses. And they make the, the feel a little bit like what I wanted to feel. Like if you are in a bad neighborhood of some country of Latin America and maybe in some times I would change all to be like that. And another thing that we had to do is to provide these guys with access from the highway, even though they are going to be very, very separate from the other parts of the town, they need access so they can move in. And I made the same trumpet interchange that I did in the farming area and at this time this is working very fine so i'm really proud of what i did with this interchange For this area over here, I have a very wide idea of what I want to do. I found some inspiration from a few sci-fi series that I have been watching on streaming. And what I'm going to pretend in here is that the oil that we are extracting is a very coveted material and we have a lot of gangs and like underground war that want to come here and steal and attack the area because we have we will have the electricity production in here and all the oil extraction is going to be in here so at one moment in the build maybe in in later episode we're going to build like walls and we're going to have guards uh, trying to keep the the oil safe 
and yeah we are going to be doing something very important in here but by now it's gonna stick like what we have uh, at this moment because we need money and we need to unlock a few stuff to be able to build what I want to build in here in this area over here we have a very interesting stuff going on exactly the same that we have in the in the farming area but with the difference that we don't have people near here that we can bring in cable cars to to work in the area so we have to stick to two different um, mass transit to get to here people in La Sursa has to go to the cable car then to the ferry to get to here and the people that are in the other part of the city had to go to to the cable car then get to the mines then walk to the ferry stop and go to the mines to to the oil extraction area to work so this is going to be a very interesting part of the city because it's so isolated that people will gonna have a lot of trouble to get to here problem that happened to me was all caused by the traffic when you have traffic issue you tend to do things that you could regret from that because maybe you're changing a lot or maybe you know, it's not the, the exact solution that you need to do in here I decided that I needed to provide the people a better entrance from the highway and from the city to the industries and what I had to do was to to put an interchange that could handle the traffic from the highway and from the city to the generic industries but for that I had to destroy almost half of my generic industry that was something that I thought that I could afford but really I wasn't ready for to afford that because most of the money made by the industries in the city were being made by generic industry and not by special industry like what I thought and when I destroy all this industry all the goods that was coming from the from the farming or in oil industry that we were having in the city didn't have anywhere to go so what they did was that they went to the storages since the storages are near to the special industries the special industry starting to queue all these goods and they started to to produce special goods very fast but those special goods those doesn't have anywhere to go because we don't have enough commercial to to use to consume all these special goods and you will you you only have one cargo train terminal to go out of the city and that was a big issue that we had and i didn't even knew that that was happening i had all the the special industries uh, with their storages fill up with special goods and they stopped the production that was something key to the bankrupt of the city another thing that happened and it was because of the traffic was that since my garbage truck couldn't go get out of the industry area to get to the city 
all the garbage was queuing up in, in the houses and that caused that people was getting sick sick people started to die and the hearses were not able to get to the houses to pick up the the, the dead body so they started complaining about that dead body that wasn't being picked and that dead body make other people sick and we had went to a like like a circle that all was causing another thing and causing another thing and causing another thing and then i decided okay i'm gonna cheat my way to solve the problem and i'm gonna use the move it mod the move it mod has a button that can reset the whole building and when you reset the building if the building is abandoned it's gonna go back to normal if the building has land value problem it's gonna uh, delete the message of low land value or if there's a dead people if there's a sick people if there's crime this reset button is gonna make the building to to function like if it doesn't have any problem but the thing here is that the reset all uh, also reset the household in the house. All my houses in, in this area has more than one household. We have ones that have four, one that has six, ones that have even eight households. And I assume that this problem is not happening in the eight household you know you cannot have eight household with dead bodies in there so maybe you have one or two but when you hit the reset button you reset the whole building so you lose the eight household and I, since i had a lot of buildings doing the same complaint i reset them all and i lost a lot of people i think that i lost almost 10,000 citizens because of that that's not a problem that that lasts a lot because citizens will eventually come back to the city they will move back but they have to go all the way from the highway then to the city to the street and then go and move in and then the 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 the, the population will start to grow but since we did all this with the game on pause and it was it happened all at the same time we uh, in a matter of minutes we lost 10,000 workers that could go and work in the mines in the industries and in the special industries that was another problem and then I went to work to the to the mines and tried to make some changes. And at that moment was when the bailout message popped out. Then I paused again and I went to check if my oil industry is making money, if my ore industry is making money, my farm industry is making money, and all of them were making good money. I didn't know why I was losing that much money then i went to the industry and i found out that my production was getting very low because of lack of workers and because of lack of industries that i had and now i don't have and the other problem was that the goods were queuing up in the storages of the special industries and when i found out that i solved that very easily by popping a a storage near to the to the cargo train terminal and dedicating it to special goods when that happened they started shipping their goods to the to the storage and since it was uh, very near to the cargo train terminal they started to to ship to the outside of the city and then the, the problem started to, to, to get to, to solve because at that time almost all the people that went out of the city because we reset the, the building were coming back and the industries were making a little bit better 
they re refresh the way that they were working and then the money started to to come back very easy but the the lesson here is that you cannot rush to solve issues you had to let the game run you had to go in given time because when you do that the thing so fast things tend to go wrong like what happened to me but the city is going very good now and i think that i'm gonna be able to to have it back and and keep on going with the series So we are here at the end of the episode. I hope that you have a fine time and I hope that you learned something. If you are playing like me with milestone, unlocking stuff and playing with money, I think that this could help you to prevent that happening in your city, like what happened to, to my city. So if you like the video, if you think that that was interesting, please give us a like or if you didn't like the the episode if you didn't found it interesting you could hit the dislike button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification to keep on notified when we upload a new episode and thank you for all your support and see you in the next one